In time series modeling, it is sometimes useful to refer to a lead variable. A lead is an observation in future. Now this is common in certain types of analysis, such as intervention studies. I show you um, how to do leads in Starter. First, we changed our directory using the cd command. Then we used the insheet command to obtain our Bitcoin data, which we used in a previous video. Now, this um, gives us a data set of Bitcoin prices, which includes open prices, the high, the low, the close, the adjusted close and trading volume. First, I generate a time variable using the generate command, I call this time, I use underscore n to count observations. Now this is not strictly necessary because we have a date variable already. However, the date variable is a string at the moment. So you have to convert the string into a date variable to work with it. That is of course possible, but um, a bit more time consuming. Then I declare the time dimension using the tset command. So now starter knows that I have a time dimension. Once this is declared, I can use the time series operators. For a lead, I use the F operator. I call this the closing price underscore F, but of course you can use any name you wish. And then I put the F in front of the variable name. So F dot is my time series operator for leads. If I want to have more than one period lead, I just put a number in front. For instance, this would give me a lead of two periods. And as you can see, we now have the closing price, which is the lead by one period. So this observation that comes next appears at the same level as the first observation and so on. There's an alternative way to generate the leads using the underscore n method. Now this method here does not require the time dimension. So that works just by ordering your time series. So as long as your time series is in the correct order, you can use in rectangular brackets underscore n plus one to obtain the lead by one period and plus two and so on for leads in, in the future. I see you in the next one.